Thank you, Andy, and thank you, everybody who organized this, and thank you, everybody who showed up today. Showing up is half the battle, so thanks for being here. Um, first of all, I'd like to talk a little bit about Columbus and the Indigenous Day of Resistance. Columbus, one of the problems with Columbus is, first of all, how worshipped he is all over the place, and secondly, how he was just the vanguard for the violent colonization of our continent. And as somebody who comes as an ancestor of the colonizers and the imperialists, I recognize that there were people here. How can you discover a land that was already being lived upon? I think it was discovered way before Columbus came here. And as a candidate for governor of California, I just went to the bathroom in there and I stopped by my future office. <laughs> Jerry Brown wasn't in, I was gonna tell him to start packing. He probably has a lot of crap in there he needs to pack up before he has to vacate. But anyway, as a candidate, I want to work with the first people of this state. This state has an appalling record towards our indigenous brothers and sisters. Appalling, destructive, murderous. And I don't think we partner with them so they can build more casinos. I think we partner with them so they can lead the way to a rebirth of California. A rebirth where the person, the citizen, is more important than the corporations. Right? Where sustainability, renewable energy is more important than Jerry Brown's contributors, Occidental Petroleum, and hydro fracturing. You know, so our indigenous people can lead the way to a, a renewal of California. So that's what I wanna say about that part. And what I wanna say about the Monsanto part. It goes together. It's not separate. And of course, my issue is ending the wars, ending imperialism. And how does that work with California? California sends billions of dollars to the federal government for these wars for empire. And we need that money here in the state. We need that money to build, you know, better, public transportation, clean forms of energy, education. We could also take billions of dollars from the prisons to put into these healthy organizations. But why am I so opposed to Monsanto? First of all, Monsanto rakes up there as one of the most evil corporations on this planet. It's up there with Halliburton, Chevron, uh, GE, Walmart. And all these guys work together. They work together against us. And we have to work together against them. It doesn't matter if we're Democrats or Republicans or peace and freedom or Greens or nothing in the political sphere. We need to work together against these organizations that are oppressing us and impoverishing us and destroying the world. I think Anthony said, Monsanto responsible for Agent Orange, responsible for a rise in type 2 diabetes because of Agent Orange. They're responsible for bovine growth hormone. 
They're responsible for uh, PCBs, Roundup, killing the bees. That's why I am against them. They're poison. Why would we allow this corporation to dominate our food supply? You know, we can't allow them. Now, California last election had a ballot initiative called Prop 37. And of course, Monsanto defeated that. Monsanto poured $8 million into the anti-37 campaign. And while it was a good campaign, it didn't go far enough. Of course we need our foods labeled. So, so citizens, I refuse to call you consumers because that's what they call us now. We're not citizens, we're consumers. So citizens can make informed choices. I was adamantly in favor of Prop 37, but what I'm more in favor of, and as governor, what I will work for, is to get Monsanto the hell out of the state of California. <laughs> we will put our, our farming and our food growing and back into the hands of the people. Back into cooperatives, collectives, organic farming. It's happening all over the world and we can do it here. And not only will we get, G uh, sorry there's kids, not only will we get Monsanto the heck out of California, but we will take their leadership to court. We will prosecute them for poisoning our children, for poisoning the land, for killing the planet. Yesterday there was a protest in Woodland at Monsanto HQ. And I, I wasn't there, but it was there. I guess things exist if I'm not there. And. I was reading the news coverage, and every piece of news coverage said we, contact, talked to, we contacted Monsanto, and their representative said they don't know who was protesting or why they were protesting. Well, let's tell them who we are. We're the people. Yeah. We're the people who don't want our food poisoned. We don't want our happy food turned into crappy food. Now I'm sounding like Jesse Jackson. I'm rhyming everything. We are the people who want healthy choices. And we don't want it to be a choice. We want it to be normal. We don't want to have to go to our grocery stores and read every label to make sure that it's not being poisoned. We want to just go there with confidence to know we're buying healthy food. And we want the prisons emptied out of non-violent offenders and drug offenders so we can put the leadership of corporations in prison there. They need the room. We need the room there. That's what we're protesting, Monsanto. If you don't know what we're protesting, just ask us, ask the people. That's who we are, and that's why we're here. Thank you.